Hey everybody, um, we're kind of in the dark and in the pouring rain here, so we've got a double whammy going on. Uh, hopefully this comes through clear. We had one with uh, subtle deployment of a jacket uh, or other flexible weapon like a long sleeve t-shirt, uh, a poncho, uh, uh, any kind of a cover, a rain jacket or, or what have you in a pinch. Um, we talked about different deployments and different enrojados or wrappings or, or rolling up that we use. Uh, so here, I mean, this is the easiest. Palm out, grab, turn it inside, roll, and depending on how long, you'll have one or two, maybe three rolls to, to get it around your forearm. So here we're using it as a shield or a defensive weapon or a defensive tool. What we want to do here because we want to start describing uh, using the poncho as an offensive tool uh, in a distractionary method or a timing disruption, timing ratio disruption method or, uh, or an actual impact or cutting weapon. I mean, if we have a jacket like this, you can see the zipper on the zipper line. I've actually had a sparring session that it cut open and put three stitches on the top of my head. So I mean it, and there was a lot of blood coming down because the face and the head are very va uh, vascular, as you know. So I mean, that, that too is a tool. And if you know where it is, you can start utilizing that as a snap to, to get these little cuts and have these little points of impact that actually really sting. So I mean, we'll, we'll just use it loosely here. The first thing we'll do is what we call a flecaso in, in Spanish. Uh, it's a flick towards the face, right? It's just a snap of the wrist. And then that rolling motion that hits the target. It can be done, what people don't often explain is that it can be done from a number of different angles. It can come from the 45 from the ground up. It can come from the 45 the other side, right? It can come from a, kind of like a bolo punch where you have kind of a mix. It's not quite a hook level or a horizontal shot and it's not quite a, a diagonal shot so I mean just that little flick if you guys can see I put the flashlight on Johnny's face here um, so I mean the flick is just this right? punch it out snap it punch it out snap it punch it snap at the angle coming up you actually get the zipper and you can feel that Hit it, right? Right, you can come from the other. Or straight through again. Okay, so you've got the flecasso. We have the ponchasso, which is the downward motion, right? So it actually has, depending on the size of the jacket or the size of the flexible tool that you're using, it has quite a bit of weight behind it where you can actually really hammer that thing. I want to be careful because I have a light here. But I mean, just that motion of bang, right? Back, bang, forehead, back hand. Right? You can see how heavy the impact is just with that little elastic recoil shot that we're doing. Um, that being said, what else do we have here? Right? You have the entiere, which is the shot coming, is this going right on his face? There we go. Coming from the ground. So without hitting, hitting Johnny, we're rolling that from the ground and rechambering and bringing it back, right? You can use it in unison with other shots. Okay, so that rolling from the ground, boom, right? That has zipper or any kind of attachment with weight to it. Some people carry a lock on it. Uh, some people put uh, little dangly things, little dangly metal things that you see on some leather jackets. Those become a, a pretty big impact to it, right? You can see it tilt the face or however the case may be. Uh, I use one too when we're sparring. It's like a blanketing move. So I open it up, right? That can be done subtly. It's already open, right? You have the grip. Right, and you can blanket it. So let's say I have a knife in one hand, right? I can put that over top and come over top here, 
I can cover and cut low. I, I can cover and come high. But it's a blanket in this. Right? Right? If I do it high, I can fake low. If I come up with it and land, I can come underneath it. So you have a multitude of different things. The other thing that we'll do that's kind of hard to describe without somebody here is pisar el poncho, which is stepping on the poncho. So, I don't know if it can be seen from here, but if I lay this out on the ground, it draws the other person in, feeling that they have an opening. When they step on that poncho and that weight is distributed, right, I pull that up, which can affect balance, or take balance completely away and, and force the opponent to fall. Right, so I got that. Land, stay low, yank through. You can use that in unison with other strikes, right, as we've shown before. So that's what we'll do as a basic video, just to utilize your, your flexible tool in an offensive way or a complementary way with whatever tool that you have to have on you. Uh, I know we're running, running on six minutes here right now, so I'm going to cut it off. If this doesn't come in clearly, uh, I'll do another one tomorrow in, in the light. Thanks for tuning in.